What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, I got two topics I wanna to talk about. The first topic is mindset. And then the second topic is taking action. You got a mindset out here that says, hey, work hard and you should be able to reap the rewards of that hard work. Plant the right seeds, at some point, your harvest will come in. You know, all those different types of saying that uh, are associated with success. Hard work breeds success, those types of things. But mindset is important when it comes to success because your mind is the most powerful tool you have. Without a great mindset, how do you motivate yourself every day to do things above and beyond your normal. You know, guy goes to work from nine to five. He gets off of that nine to five. Now, how do you motivate your mind? How do you get your mindset right in order to go work that second job or whatever it is you are doing in order to create additional income above your nine to five? It's all about mindset. Now, the way I deal with mindset is I had to figure out a compelling reason for me to do more than I was already doing at my nine to five. I wasn't willing to stretch myself unless I could come up with a reason to force myself to stretch myself. And you guys know if you've watched the channel for any period of time and watched any of my videos, you know I talk about my why. And my why was the main reason my mindset is the way it is today. I had to sit down with myself and really put down on paper what was important to me in this life. What was important to me in my financial life? What did I want to accomplish? And I'd also had to be honest with myself and say, doing what you're doing right now, are you going to be able to accomplish that? And for me, guys, it was no. Working my nine to five would, would, would take care of my basic needs, but it would not put me in a position to do the other things that were important to me from a financial standpoint and from a personal enjoyment standpoint. It will not change your mindset unless you have a compelling reason to do so. Sit down, have an honest conversation with yourself, figure out pen to paper, figure out what's important to you financially. That's the way you change your mindset. You can read all the books you want. You can watch all the YouTube videos you want. Um, you can go to all the seminars you want to go to. In my experience, guys, you can do all of that stuff and you'll still have the same mindset. Why? Because you haven't figured out for you a compelling reason to change your mindset. For me, it was, I want to own supercars. Now I know guys, to some of y'all, that may sound superficial, materialistic, and that's okay. You, you're entitled to your opinion, but you got to understand everybody has different reasons. So my reason may not be your reason and that's okay. But you know something though, that supercar dream was a big enough why for me to change my mindset. It was big enough to, 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 to push me to get into real estate and then get look where real estate has taken me. It has opened so many financial doors for me because I did what? I sat down and figured out what was important to me. Supercars were that thing for me. So it forced me to learn how to buy real estate, understand the industry, buy more real estate, sell that real estate, take that cash, and invest it in the stock market. Guys, I knew nothing about the stock market, nothing. And I still really don't know a lot about it, but what I do know and what mindset, putting my mind in the right frame of mind did for me was it forced me to go out and learn and acquire the necessary skill set in order to be able to be proficient at investing in the type of investments I wanted to invest in in the stock market world. So mindset is huge. Second one, taking action. 
Now, once you sit down and, and get that compelling reason, this is why I'm going to stretch myself. This is why I'm going to be uncomfortable. This is why I'm going to lose time with my family. This is why I'm going to lose time with my friends uh, and, and concentrate on building my financial future. Once you decide on that, then you got to take action. Then you got to figure out what steps I need to do in order to achieve it. Again, if you've been following the channel for any time, you know I'm a big believer in goals. Sitting down, writing your goals down, and then taking those goals, visualizing yourself meeting those goals, and then taking action. Now, I'm going to give you my quick what taking action meant for me. Back to my story about, okay, I sat down, I figured out my why, supercars, and being able to put myself in a position to be able to take care of my family. And if one of my daughters called me and said, hey, dad, I need five grand, I can reach in my pocket, pull it out and give it to him. So for me, guys, those were the compelling reasons, supercars, personal enjoyment, and then helping my family, right? So... Then I had to figure out how, how to obtain that. So then I just basically started thinking outside of the box. What do I mean by that? Remember I talked about in videos past how I was 26 years old and I bought a house and then I figured out how to take the equity out of that house and put a down payment on the second house and I moved in. So I got creative. See, these are the types of things you gotta be able to do, but when you're in the right mindset, you will get creative because see your back will be against the wall. Like my back was, my back was against the wall because I knew my nine to five would not put me in a position where I could buy the supercars and take care of my family the way I wanted to take care of them above and beyond what our basic needs were. I knew I couldn't do that with my job. See, I didn't lie to myself. And that's what I got to ask you guys to think about. You know, guys, don't make excuses for yourself. Do not sit here and make excuses and and, and allow excuses to keep you from reaching your full financial potential. Don't do it. Do not allow that. Guys, one of the things I've learned over the years that separate the upper 1% wealthiest people in this world from everybody else, they don't make excuses. They hold themselves accountable and they don't make excuses. And, a, and another thing that they have that's, in, that's very common for people that are very successful, they're not afraid to fail. Guys, I failed quite a few times. You guys remember the story from previous videos, played in the NFL for three years, made some good money. Guess what? Dead broke when I was done playing. Three years in the league, made great money, but I was dead broke when I got done playing. So that was, that's a form of failure. I should have, if I would have had the right mindset, I should have put myself in a position to, to, to be taken care of for the rest of my life. But instead, I chose the wrong path and I blew it. But you know something? I didn't make any excuses. I owned up to that failure. I owned up to that mistake and I changed it. And over the course of the next 25 years, I'm here today sitting in front of you with still the right mind set and still able to take action on the things that are still important to me from a financial standpoint. I'm just a guy who was backed into a corner and was forced to figure out a way to make it happen. And what I'm telling you today is, if you put yourself in the right mindset and you take action, you'll be successful. Now, your level of success is gonna be different than my level of success. See, I don't have an aspiration to be a billionaire. The aspirations that I have, guys, I'm attaining them. See, you got to be realistic as well. There are only going to be so many billionaires in this world. There's only going to be so many millionaires in this world. You got to figure out what you're comfortable with and you can live with. What's reasonable. For me, guys, having a seven-figure net worth is reasonable. And I've attained that. And I'm still growing that net worth. My goal is to be able to have personal enjoyment for the rest of my life. I hope the video was helpful. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, and give me a thumbs up.
it helps the channel, and it helps me out as well. But as always, guys, keep chasing greatness, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks. When you open a new brokerage account, put at least $100 in that brokerage account. They're going to give you up to 12 free stocks for just trying out their brokerage app. There's a link down in the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up your new brokerage account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. I'm going to also send you a free Weeble tutorial video. All you got to do is send me a DM on Instagram at richardfain28 and I will send you a free Weeble tutorial video to walk you through how to make your first trade so you can start building wealth. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.